John, I know over the course of the last few weeks, I've complained to you several times about the couch that is in the living room next to me. You know, it just doesn't go with my decor. Well, frankly, this is what is called a first world problem. Uh, imagine being a person here in the Vegas Valley who is using a cardboard box to eat dinner on, or maybe your child uh, sleeps in an empty room with a blow up mattress and one single sheet. These are actual scenarios from families across Las Vegas who have been helped by the Walker Furniture Home for the Holidays program, and they're gearing up to help 35 families again this year. No question. And they're back for their 27th annual Home for the Holidays program. And here to tell us about it is Linda Alterwitz Mizrahi with Walker Furniture. It's great to have you back. How are you, Linda? I'm doing great. It's really, really great to be here. The, the work and that you talking do. to you with Home for the Holidays is so important, and especially in a year like this, my goodness gracious. Tell us about Home for the Holidays and, and what the program's all about, how it got its start. Well, we're giving away brand new furniture and mattresses to 35 households, uh, individuals or families that are in dire need. And how it works is that we ask, we invite the community to write in a letter about a family that you might know in need, and tell us about what's going on, the situation. And we get over a thousand letters per year. So we're, wow. we're really happy about that. It's just incredible. And I understand that this year's deadline is December 9th. So you're inviting folks all across the Valley. If they have you know, that, that special person in their life that they just know could really use some extra assistance, they can either go on your website and submit a, a letter there, or they can drop them off at either of your locations. Yeah, or they can mail it to us too. There we go. Mail still works. Excellent. True. Uh, so how, what's the process like whittling it <laughs> down? Because you must get, you got way more than 35 letters, I'm assuming. How do you whittle it down to that 35? Well, there's usually over about a thousand letters and helping hands of Vegas Valley. They're really integral to our process. They uh, read every single letter that comes in. Mm -hmm. And from there, wow. after reading all the letters, they finalize that well to about 100 to 200 letters. From there, they do home visits for all those letters um, to the people to verify you know, the true need. And after the home visits, we get about 45 selections and our executive committee brings it down to the final 35 recipients. Wow. And I tell you what, it's just incredible the difference that you're making in these people's lives. I've seen photos, Linda, I've seen video from some of these events where people are just weeping. Um, you're able to go in and, and do something as simple as provide a kitchen table where there wasn't one, to replace a couch that was you know, maybe completely deteriorated with one that's brand new. And so you're bringing people uh, you know, a sense of pride and um, you're just really able to touch people. It's amazing. What, what kind of items might people receive? It's really customized to each family. Uh bedrooms, living room, dining room. And in, for instance, if there's eight children to the family, they would receive eight beds for each child. So it's wow. definitely customized to each family or individual. It's really a life-changing moment to be uh, chosen to receive uh, from the Home for the Holidays program. Uh, th this year, more than ever, I mean, a lot of people are, are, are in, in kind of a rough, in a rough moment right now in, in not just Vegas, but in society. Uh, and, and the yes. need for your program is bigger and more important than ever this year, isn't it? Yeah, it is. it is, And we're so glad that we're continuing. Yeah. It's very important to continue this year. And we hope it provides, provides hope yeah. for everyone uh, to know Absolutely. that, yeah, we are committed to our community. And, um, yeah, you certainly are. This is just one of the ways I know you come on with us several times a year and you're helping, but this, this program really, really resonates with so many people. We want to make sure that people not only submit those letters, like you said, they can mail them in, they can drop them off at the two Walker Furniture locations. They can go on your website and we want to remind people that the more specific and heartfelt they can be with their letter, the better they probably are, you know, going to communicate the need of, of whoever they're representing. Most definitely. No question. Yeah. Well, it is, uh, it's great having you, and we'll make sure that we point people in the right direction to be able to vote, be able to send it, rather okay. send in their, uh, send in their requests. Send in it's their great. letters. It's, yep. it's great, great to have you, and we appreciate you so much. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, thanks. Good to be Thank here. Thank you, Linda. All right, Walker Furniture, okay. the 27th Bye -bye. annual 
Home for the Holidays. My goodness gracious, they do an incredible job. And uh, if you want to get your letters in, you can uh, send them in by December 9th. You can do it online. You can do it via snail mail. You can deliver it to either of the two Walker <laughs> Furniture locations. WalkerFurniture.com, a great place to start. And we thank Walker Furniture so much. A proud sponsor of The Morning Blend.